Rats are so aggressive, they're chewing through the drywall in the ceiling, and we're about to hunt them down right, right now. now. guys so this particular customer George found us on YouTube and said guys I need some help I've got a newborn baby coming and I can hear rats in my ceiling to the point where they're chewing and gnawing through the drywall of the newborn baby's bedroom here and they want these rats out so, so we're gonna have to really figure out how they're getting in because multiple rodent companies have come out they've determined that the crawl space the roof all of that is completely sealed off so he's in desperate mode right now to get these rats before he's got his baby coming yeah guys so the uh, we're gonna be inspecting all the plumbing all the HVAC uh, everything to get to the bottom of this so follow us on this journey so as you can see here the rodents are beginning to chew through the ceiling drywall so we're gonna build a containment make an incision there do some investigative work there so we just spoke to the neighbor got an army of cats there that just told us they have caught Tons of cats, at least 10 of them. Check them out. We're your neighbor, George. Hey! Beautiful cats. Yeah, a lot of them. <laughs> See her paws? She has too many toes. <laughs> oh. So ever since they, they uh, did the townhouses, all the rats are... Yeah, at least one a day. In the beginning, when they first started uh, doing the demo, these guys were bringing like 10. Oh. And then, see? They all have extra toes. Oh. They're called polydactyls. Polydactyls. We, we need a few of these cats to help us out here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. This one's kind of wet. Hi. Oh, she got under the hose. She likes the water. That's weird. Uh -huh. I know. I have lots of animals. I work in veterinary medicine, so uh -huh. I get all oh. these freaks. Oh. <laughs> How are we looking, Dave? Is there any, uh... Good. I'm just going to open up the window off the bedroom here, but I like to go up on the roof and take yeah. a look at uh, the plumbing up above here. Your turn, Ben. My turn. Don't fall off, man. Uh, I'm not trying to do that we don't, today. We don't have any shirts. <laughs> little suspect area here. This uh, fan is, is open. So we're going to remove this top lid right here and see if we can find anything there. So we open this up right here. And uh, you can see some areas right there where it's wide open. So this will definitely be closed up here up on the roof okay so here's our containment around the drywall area where the rats were chewing through i'm going to protect the floors I'm excited to see what's going on in that ceiling here so as soon as we finish up here we're going right into that ceiling god i'm good so we've got our containment here where the hole is there so we're going to make an incision in that ceiling there and then uh hopefully that'll hopefully that'll give us a uh, sort of a direction dave absolutely yeah it's uh is that insulation coming through yeah i think so they're pulling the insulation out uh let me get my moisture reader see if there's any Oof, kind of... dave did a he's doing a sniff check and uh, ow, pretty bad, pretty bad. Looks like there is that an opening right there too, Dave? They're just starting oh, to. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. My finger going right through. Bam. So Stephen, we make our incision. We'll have this going to the outside here. So this is an air scrubber here. We're gonna discharge it to the outside. This just helps keep uh, any major contaminants, particulates that go airborne in the breathing space. This is going to capture it all, take it to the outside. So we'd like to try to keep everything nice and clean. Just try one. You see the chew? Like the bites right there. Chewing them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see the chew marks? Yeah. Huh? 
half. Oh, I see right here. There's a nest. See the big thing there? Oh, I'm sorry. Right there. Bunch of rat feces down this down this way here. Let's get up in here and I'll show you. So you can see. Yeah, they're jumping over. Uh, I think what we ought to do, David, is do a smoke smoke test through this net right here. The air conditioning net. And then we'll get the See, there's a vent right here next to our containment okay well from the looks right now it doesn't look like they're coming from the roof it looks like they're coming from definitely from underneath and then coming up this way and from the looks and the size of the rat defecation it looks like we're dealing with the norway rat that's why it's uh super important to open up ceilings be able to get to the source so it's uh it's leading us to this direction so it gives us that ability to continue to investigate so start where they're making the hole and they're nesting and then figure out where they're migrating from there is very very important so we're going to go ahead and build another containment there and uh, open up because we know they're coming from this direction and then heading this way and nesting in that one corner Let's go ahead and uh, remove that insulation. Open chase right there. Wide open. It looks like there's some rub marks on that wood in this area, which they're crawling through. And then on this bay, where the nest was, this bay right here, it looks like the... Uh, the brown secretion marks are on that electrical there. Looks like they've even been kind of chewing a little bit on the electrical there. I don't know if you could see that insulation there where they're climbing up or through. They made a little burrow there. All right, so we're going to continue opening this way. There's a big opening right here where the vent stack goes through the roof. So we're just going to keep trailing this way to see um, what's on the other side and hopefully find the runway getting into this bedroom here. Looks like it's going to go, they're going to be coming up. So hopefully on this side too, we can look down. All right, Dave, so when I was tapping, you heard me in this area. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, there's okay. that exhaust fan goes all the way up. Yeah, and then there's a big return that comes this way. This way. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Okay. And follow that duct system. This big duct, I think those goes underneath that uh, crawl space here. Okay. So it seems like it's they're coming from the, from the bottom up, just like you said earlier. Yeah. Ooh, I started to smell something here. Okay. Ooh, I took my mask off. Whew. Oh man. It smells like something dead under here. Really? Yeah. This is the return. Get some light. Yeah. Ooh. Right here, right here. Come over here, come over here. Oh, dead. Ugly dead rat. Oh yeah, that's, Ooh, a, that's even. That's a Norway rat right there. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh, disgusting. They're coming in here somehow, so we gotta figure that out. Let me get my head in here, hold on. Oh yeah. A major opening right here. Okay. We gotta use the crawl space. Yeah. Yeah, so I think what's happening is they're getting in from over here. Uh -huh. The runway's here. Yeah. And then they're cl uh, climbing up to the uh, the baby's room right oh, there. Oh, wow. Have you heard any activity in this area before? I haven't noticed, no. Okay. 
So we're going to use some of our enzyme. We're going to remove it and then spray some enzyme in here just to kind of do some uh, disinfecting. And then Unless we're going to. Want it there. <laughs> <laughs> and then Why we're going to head down to the crawl space. Okay. All right, guys. So we do so many jobs where we're dealing with a lot of contaminants, especially with rodents having a lot of bacteria, odors, urine. We've come up with our own enzyme which is the twinzyme. And this really soaks into the substrates, attacks all of that bacteria, viruses, and gets rid of the odor ultimately. So what I'm gonna do before Steven, uh, our technician, comes in and removes this, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, spray our twinzyme on the surface here. And this will just neutralize everything, make it a little bit safer to remove. And it's already starting to smell better. I'll go ahead and put a link down below. All right guys, so you see the process that it takes to really hunt these rats down. We like to start where the activity is and then work our way. That sort of gives, gives us the guidance more, to, more clues as to how they're, they're entering. That's gonna be the key here, especially with everything around the perimeter up on the roof is completely sealed up. So now we're gonna focus underneath the crawl space and see what's under there because they're now, so now the next thing is how are they getting in the crawl space? So right. I know they're not coming from the roof, they're coming into the walls and the ceilings. So now we're gonna focus on the crawl space, but our job now is to really figure out how they're getting into the crawl space. And that's gonna be interesting right there, Dave. And I, you know, Jimmy does such a great job with crawling and inspecting. I think we're gonna leave it up to him no to problem. crawl the house because he's just so good at it. You know what, I, mean, I, I, I will honor that and I will take the privilege because I'm actually really, really excited to figure out how they're getting in George's house. Actually, I am too. So anyways, we're gonna to get to it right now. All right, so we're doing a perimeter walk here. Check this out. It's right underneath this sidewalk right here. Huh. The vents look good. It's a pretty tight area here. Should I run water in here, Jimmy? You want no, to smoke? We're do smoke. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, let me get underneath that crawl space, Dave. See if this leads to anything. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, it could be a little burrow. Could be a burrow. Could be a pathway. They were uh, Norway rats, and their Norway rats are notorious for creating uh, burrows. So, it's not real common here, but I don't know. It, well, remember uh, with the mobile home that we just found yeah, these burrows. Yeah, that's true. All right, guys, so while my brother's doing the inspection, what I'm going to do is take our smoke, inject it in that backyard little burrow there to see if we can get smoke coming out of the crawl space. i hopefully surprise my brother here. Okay, Jim, good luck down there. I may have a surprise for you. I'm not going to tell you. Okay. All right, so I'm in the crawl space. The vents look good here. So you want to look for uh, any potential openings, of course. Okay, there's that, uh, there's that HVAC where David and I found that dead rat. Let's head that way. Here's that area. With the return. Oh yeah, wide open. Right there. So there's that where we found the dead rat. There's the opening right there. That's how they've been chewing up the, uh, the duck work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, wide open. Look at that. Wide open. So they're definitely getting in the crawl space. There's a, a large runway there for uh, upstairs, close to that bathroom. In fact, this might be the toilet because that's where George is hearing the noise right in front of where the toilet is. You can see the uh, drywall, mm -hmm. drywall dust There's an opening right here. from uh, Daniel. And as you can see here, that duct, and this goes straight up that that wall cavity up to that bathroom. So he's opening that up right now. All right. So this is a suspect area here. It's a wide opening. Ooh, we got a we got a black widow right here. Oh, it took off. That's 
definitely a possibility there, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. And then right into that duct system over there, huh? Yep, and into the house. Okay. So both of us are underneath this crawl space because we want to double, get it double inspect to make sure that we've got covering all of our bases. These so rats, I think these, these rats are smarter than one of us, but not smarter than both of us. So it's going to take both of us to really inspect here. Yeah, but this crawl space, uh, it overall looks pretty good. So it's either between this vent, Dave, or the vent up above, up on the roof. All right, let's go up to uh, Steven and see what he found up there, huh? Okay. All right, guys. I got excited. I for sure thought it was going to be a burrow yeah. that went from the outside in. Pump smoke, put water. Yep. That's why I got under there with Jimmy to see if I could see any holes in there. Nothing, nothing. So right now it looks like the screen here, which is yep. which is about this far from the wood structure here, so they can easily get into there. And then right up, up into this huge, there's this uh, six inch, eight inch duck I showed you guys. Steven's up there right now. He opened up the wall. We're gonna go up there right now, but it's a literally a straight shot. Access. So we're gonna head up there right now. Glad I didn't get attacked by a black widow. Uh, back How we doing, Steven? Yeah, found another dead rat. Dead rat? Where? Oh, yeah. Another dead rat? Yes, sir. Oh, it's a little baby a one. Baby, yep. Yeah, this is where they were uh, hearing the activity. That's interesting how they got in yeah. here because there's no access huh? all right so when i was in the crawl space here's that chase the very top by the toilet so they're gaining access to this chase here so we're, we're going to repair that ducting and then um, close that off by the return down below spray a little enzyme in here all right we're going to go ahead and exclude these two areas right here get those covered we like to uh Double, triple it, just to make it thick. Just for longevity. George's rat infestation here. You know, we put all the plastic, we sealed off all of the openings yesterday. He did report that he heard them scurry right over the plastic. So we've got uh, we've got to really do the exclusions today nice and tight, because what we're gonna do is we're going to basically suffocate them inside of the ceiling and walls. We have to set up uh, some, some traps and get aggressive and get these rats out of the ceiling here. But first, we've got to do our exclusions and make sure that everything is completely sealed off. So come for the ride. We're going to go ahead and use this, uh, these uh, wood planks here to do the exclusion work. We're going to wrap them with uh, wire mesh and then um, close off that big chase there in the, the baby's bedroom. What we're going to be doing is building a containment. We're going to go ahead and disinfect the return area and replace that duct in there. So we're getting prepared to do that right now. All right, so they did hear some activity uh, last night. So let me get up there and inspect, uh, Daniel. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add some exclusion here with that board on this side as well. Try to seal up this, this uh, chase right here. All right, so we've got our barrier here. It gives us access now. Got fresh air out here. We're gonna remove everything from here, so. I'll cut it. Okay, so what we're doing, uh, because you know rodents are very aggressive with chewing through wood, we're gonna double screen the surface of the wood. Ain't no rats getting through this. This was my idea. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what's inside this uh, ductwork here. <gasps> Any rat feces? Uh, see. Can you tell they've been going through or how to tell? Right now, no. Okay. No, I gotta look the other way. Okay. Oh, 
All right, so we've got Thompson under here, and uh, we're taking out Ace back. How does it look in there? Is it collapsed further down where the crawl space was? Yes, it is. Here, go ahead and put the light in there. Yeah. Towards the end, over there, it's collapsed back. Got it. Any rat feces or anything in migration? I'm not seeing anything yet. Okay. You can turn the vacuum off. Done? There's a ring disconnected. Huh? It was a big old hole. Rat hole, hole or just disconnected? Uh, it's a, it got chewed through. No way. So you can see the rats there have chewed through the ductwork on the top. Any rat pieces in there? No. They probably got blown away when they turned on the HVAC. Oh yeah, good point. So that goes into the crawl space, right Thompson? Yes, yes it does. Okay, so how can we disconnect it and pull it out? Oh, uh, we, we could just... Dis it right there and we'll pull it out from here? Yes. Okay. Alright, so we've got this uh, wall cavity completely covered here. So we're good there. We have to do a little bit more to that portion right there. Yeah, this looks really, really good. Feel very confident. All right, so we're getting ready to uh, to bait up here. Dave's getting the trap set up. Any any tips you want to provide here, Davo? Yeah, you know, uh, when it comes to trapping, because again, as we always say, these rats are super, super smart. I like using the uh, Craig Ross method, which really makes so much sense in outsmarting these traps is basically tying a piece of cloth. We want the rats to stay here longer. So what we do is we saturate this with peanut butter and make it a buffet. Make it where all of this food is going to create an aroma in the environment that you're setting these up at. So we're seeing some big results, especially you guys, when you're when you're doing great exclusion work, when you're sealing off all the areas and entry points, then these traps really work well because you're starving them inside the walls and ceiling area. But look at that, that looks appetizing. The rats will take more risk when they see a lot of food versus just a little. This is what we're seeing right here, look, just as an example. We're seeing we're seeing that right there. And that just doesn't work. So you wanna, here's a good example right here. Um, and then what we do is we take some cinnamon, we sprinkle around, and then we blow the cinnamon in the areas that we're going to be setting these up. And I'll show you what that looks like. So one of the tips, guys, is uh, again, taking some cinnamon and then blowing it in the area right where you're gonna set it up. And that just creates a really nice aroma in this area right here. All right, so there it is right there. We're gonna go ahead and seal the ceiling up and then we'll monitor this and see if we get anything. You know, these rats are smart as we're working here. They could be downstream, upstream, wherever a hiding place is and they're just waiting for tonight to, to do their thing. So right now, we'll wait and see. All right, so there's Thompson right there. He's in the uh, underneath the stairwell. Look at the uh, disruption these rats have caused. All right, so we've got there the... Uh, Interior completely excluded. Now we're just, as an extra preventative precaution, we're gonna do the exterior there. All right, we're applying our enzyme treatment here. Sanitizing, deodorizing the uh, concrete where all the, uh, the urine was. So it's already smelling significantly better. It smells so good. All right guys, so all the exclusion work is done. Did a great, great job. So that's why it's really important to win the war on rats is to be very, very thorough in all of the, the entry points. I mean, you're just it's the smallest areas. You can't make any assumptions. So our team did a great, great job. And so now we're just gonna have to monitor this for the next couple of days. All right, guys, massive progress in two days. We have accomplished a lot. Super excited to see the results and hear back from George to see if there's any more activity. All right, so we've set up all the traps. Now it's time to monitor. All right, guys, well, it's been about seven days. We've been 
uh, staying in communication with George and it's been an absolute success. Yes, no activity whatsoever, no more scratching. The house smells good, super excited. That's what makes it all worthwhile for us with all this hard work and dirtiness that we've got to deal with. But when we get the maximum results like this, it's, it's, it's awesome. awesome. Hey guys, leave the comments uh, down below. I'd love to hear your feedback on this journey with us. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one. one.